Hello everybody, Dells Films here, back with another video, and today I'm going to do my NFL predictions. And I know what you're saying, you're an MLB channel, baseball, why are you doing NFL predictions? Because I want to, and I'm going to do it. And the usual disclaimer on any prediction videos, you will disagree, and you will get mad, and you will dislike, but, you know, be, some, be mindful, because I'm not always going to agree with you, you're not always going to agree with me, but getting that out of the way, let's get into this. All right, what a regular season. It was a weird season, I feel like. I feel like there's a lot of teams we knew were gonna make it here, like the Saints, the Patriots, maybe even the Chiefs. I love Patrick Mahomes, the Rams. But then they, there's the surprise teams, like the Bears, the Cowboys, the Colts, the Texans, the Ravens, the Chargers, a lot of them. But we're gonna decide who will move on, who will win the Super Bowl, and who will be a loser. The first matchup we're going to look at today is the Colts and the Texans. They are division rivals, so they have played twice this year, and they split that series. Deshaun Watson is a great quarterback, but Andrew Luck is just more experienced. I think that defense, combined with Darius Leonard, Quincy Wilson, they might just be too much for Deshaun Watson to handle in the prime time. I don't see run-first quarterbacks doing that well in the playoffs. They just don't. And yes, that Texans defense is daunting with J.J. Watt, Davian Clowney, but Frank Reich has proved himself to be a great head coach, digging himself out of a 1-5 hole to get to the playoffs. And I think the Colts will upset the Texans in Houston to win this one. Probably 21-17 or 21-10. I don't think it'll be that close, but it could come down the wire. The next AFC wildcard matchup we have is the Ravens versus the Chargers in Baltimore. I think that's the big thing in Baltimore. It is so hard to win there. I know as a Patriots fan, it's tough. Baltimore, January, you can't do it. You know, Terrell Suggs, that defense, it's scary, man. Lamar Jackson and that running game can control the offense for enough time and keep Philip Rivers off the field. And when Philip Rivers is on the field, I don't see him scoring that much. I think the Ravens are going to pull this one out just from sheer defensive experience. Their defense is too good. And yes, the Chargers defense is great, but it's not as good as the Ravens. And as we saw early in the year, the Ravens can beat the Chargers. And I think they can do it handily here. I don't think it'll be a blowout, but I think it could be like 17-7, maybe 17-14 if it gets a little close. I think the Ravens will win. Now we head over to the NFC side with the Seahawks at the Cowboys. I really don't think this is going to be close. This is going to be a blowout. Russell Wilson is too good. He's great in prime time. Cowboys, I don't trust them. They have a great defense, but will Dak Prescott really show up? He tried to show up two years ago in first Green Bay, but it's too little, too late. Ezekiel Elliott will probably have a big game, but... I don't think it'll be enough. Seattle is so good when they need to be in prime time in big games. They are great. And I think I'm going to go Seattle probably like 31, 17, 30, 28, 17, something like that. And in the most anticipated game, in my opinion, the Eagles versus the Bears. This is going to be so fun to watch in Soldier Field in Chicago. Nick Foles versus Mitchell Trubisky. And I think it's going to be a great game. I think the Eagles are going to play very well. I think the Bears' defense will play well. But who I don't think is going to play well is Mitchell Trubisky. He seems too inconsistent. I don't think he can show up in this big-time game against a big-time team. Yes, they beat the Rams, but this is not regular season. This is the postseason. This is the playoffs. And this is a team that just won the Super Bowl. They're not going to go down without a fight. So I think the Eagles are going to win a nail-biter. Nick Foles is going to pull it out, game-winning drive, maybe in overtime. 31-30, 33-30. No, that's way too high of a score. Like 24-21, 24-20, 23-20. Some very close score. I think the Eagles are going to take it. And now we move on to the divisional round where we have a classic matchup between the Ravens and New England. Lamar Jackson versus Tom Brady. And I have three reasons for who I'm going to pick to win. First, the venue. It's in Foxborough. The Patriots are the only undefeated team at home this season. They're not losing at home. No chance, no way. My second reason is Lamar Jackson. 
He's too inexperienced. He's too young. Belichick's going to force him to pass, and he won't be able to. He's not going to make the big passes. He might have one or two long touchdowns, but that's going to be it. They're going to key in on the run. They're going to stop it, and it's going to be so hard for him. The third reason, and it's going to be Lamar Jackson again, because I don't think he can win. So the Patriots are going to win probably... 24 to 13 or 24 10 or something like that somewhere in that range the other afc divisional matchup we have is the colts at the chiefs and this is gonna be a blowout the chiefs in arrowhead are gonna run the colts it's gonna be 45 10 i know the colts had that crazy comeback versus the chiefs a long time ago i don't know was that like 2013 something like that but this is Patrick Mahomes. This is Mr. 50 touchdown passes in one season. This is Patrick Mahomes. I don't think the Chiefs will be able to run the ball, but too many big plays to Terry Kill, Robinson, Sammy Watkins. Who knows? Patrick Mahomes could run one or two or three or four, and it's going to be a blowout. And I think the Chiefs are going to win, as I said, like 45-10 or 38-7. to Something not close. Andrew Ock's going to be... I, don't, I think he might have some late drives, so they could put up 21 because this Chiefs defense is horrendous, but that's the only way I think that's going to happen. And now we move over to the NFC side, and we have the Seahawks versus the Rams. And this is going to be a great game. In LA, I really don't think that matters. I think it's just better that it's not in Seattle. Not many fans are going to come out in LA. It's just how it is there. It's not a big sports town. But I think Jared Goff and Todd Gurley have been a great duo but Jared Goff continues to struggle in big games I know he beat the Chiefs but he lost to the Rams he lost to the Bears he loses in big games and I don't think he will play that well and the Seahawks they can stuff the run if they stop Todd Gurley and cover Brandon Cooks it's over they all they need to do is put up 17 points and they could win and also the Rams don't have a secondary Marcus Peters is not good. They don't have a secondary, and Seattle's gonna expose that. Pete Carroll's too smart. Seattle's too experienced. Russell Wilson's too good. Seattle is moving on. Probably 20 to 17, 18. It'll be a weird game. And to round out the divisional series, we have the Eagles versus the Saints. And I think this won't be close. Nick Foles is a great quarterback. He has led this team, he's clutch, he's done everything, he's won a Super Bowl, but he is running into a brick wall. The Saints team is unbelievable. They are not just good, they are amazing. If their offense is on point, there is no one in this NFL that can stop them. Maybe the Bears, but they're not going to have to play the Bears. So I think the Saints are going to easily win this 27-3 to or 27-13 to or something like that. And now we move on to the AFC Championship game, and this one will probably be highly contested by a lot of you, but, and I know I'm a Patriots fan, but I am going to pick the Patriots to beat the Chiefs. It is an arrowhead. Patriots have struggled on the road, but Patrick Mahomes is basically a rookie quarterback. He has no idea what the postseason is like. We beat them earlier this year. We were in Foxborough, but... We expose how they have no defense. Literally no defense. And Tom Brady, Sony Michelle, probably no Rob Gronkowski because he looks like a bum right now. But someone will expose that defense. It is so bad. It's going to be a high scoring game. It's going to come down to the wire. It's going to be who's going to make the last touchdown throw. And Patrick Mahomes has proven time and time again he can't win a big game game he's lost to the rams he's lost to the patriots he's lost to the chargers he can't win a big game i don't trust him to win this one patriots are going to the super bowl for the third straight year probably 33 30 43 30 something like that and in the nfc championship we have the seattle seahawks in new orleans to face the monster truck that is the new orleans states and let me just tell you, no one's beating New Orleans right now. They're going to cruise through Seattle, dominate in New Orleans, win probably 33-16, to 16, something like that. 
New Orleans is too good. If their offense stays consistent, they won't be beat. Their defense is good enough to win a Super Bowl. They're good enough to beat Seattle right now. And that's where we are. And then we have the Brady Breeze Super Bowl. The matchup probably right behind Brady Rodgers, but this will be one for the ages. Two of the top quarterbacks of the generation going at it on the biggest stage in sports. Who will come out on top? Spoiler alert, it's not Tom Brady. It's going to be Drew Brees. And because the teams New England will face all have weaknesses. The Chiefs is their defense. The Ravens is their offense, their passing game, Lamar Jackson. The Saints, I don't see a weakness. Their only weakness is their offense and consistency. That's where they've lost their two games. I'm not counting Carolina because whatever. The only reason they lost is because of offense and consistency. And they won't be off. They'll have two weeks to prepare and they will kill the Patriots defense. Probably be some score, I would guess. 30 to 23. Tom Brady will put up a fight, but it won't be enough. Missed extra point. A missed field goal. One too many touchdowns. One too many yards. The New Orleans Saints will be Super Bowl champions. So there you have it. I have the Saints winning the Super Bowl. Who would you pick? Where did I go wrong? Who's going to upset who? Tell me in the comments down below what you like and subscribe. Also, you can visit my website, www.dellsobs.com. Thank you, and see you in the next one.